Hello Leo, this is Starbright. I'm here to do a weekly um, read on you guys for December the 7th through the 14th. It's not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your store. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rising of Venus and Jupiter. Leo. Leo, what message do you have for Leo, spirit? Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. What messages do you have for Leo? December the 7th through the 14th. What messages do you have for Leo? Mm, deception and envy. Mm. Destiny. Mental, mental conflict. Obstacles and challenges. Intuition. Bottom of deck, intuition. And love begins. All right, let's see what's going on with this. Hmm. Okay. Someone, what I'm getting from these cards here, someone, as you see this person with someone that's very deceitful, and you close out a, ch a chapter with this person. This is someone that you was going to some kind of mental conflict with this person. This is someone that was your. This is someone that you was like in partnership with this person. You're going through some kind of obstacles and challenges with this person. Mm. And some of you guys are using your intuition before you begin something new. Someone that were very deceitful that you close out of the cycle. This is the one that you went through some kind of mental conflict with this person. You went through obstacles and challenges. Some of you guys are using your intuition before you start something new with this person. Okay, got you. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about this, Spirit. Tell me more. This is someone that you just trying to be patient. This is someone to see you as their twin flame. This is the one you could be married to. Or this could be an Aries. Or this is someone you was in a, um, a strong, committed relationship with this person. This is the one that ghosts you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. And it stressed you out. You wasn't getting in the sleep. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. This is someone that wants to pour their emotions out to you. Hmm. This is the one who could have cut you out of their life. Now this person wants a reunion with you. Hmm. They cut you out of their life because of someone they wanted a reunion with. But now this person is feeling left out in the cold by someone that lived across the water or someone that they had to end the cycle with this person. This is someone that's very sad because of someone they try to be hopeful with this person. Mm, this is the one they tried to control their emotions. This is the one they made this decision about to let this person go. <clears throat> mm, what is telling me that some of you guys are will use your intuition when it comes to making a decision about this person? Because you, because this person was very deceitful and they closed out a cycle with you, and they caused you some kind of mental conflict. And, and it caused you some kind of um, you had obstacles with this person. You had some kind of you was you had some kind of struggle with this person. In the decision that you made, you want you want you trying to use your intuition, and you want to make sure you make the right this, uh, decision about this person because this person was very deceitful. This is the one you could have been married to this person, or this could be an heiress. This is the one who had ghost you. Uh uh no no. And this is the one you definitely had some kind of. Um, Mental stress with this person. You stayed up at night time. You wanted to get in to sleep. And this person had just cut you out of life just to have a, like a little fling with someone because it didn't last long. Now this person is sad about an ex. Hmm. Hmm. Spirit. All right. Spirit, what is Leo? What are they looking for in a lover? What is Leo looking for in a lover? Show me a course I need to see. Hmm. 
You, you looking for a king? Hmm, that's kind of flirty. <laughs> Tell me more about this king of wands. See what you're looking for. You want someone that you'll never be bored with this person, but you want this person to be a king, but you want to have someone that you're going to have fun with. Hmm, this is someone you want to move forward with. This is one you see as a wish. This is someone you want victory with. Okay, some of you guys want to move forward with a Leo or a Cancer. Because you feel like you're this person, you'll never be bored with this person. This is someone you definitely want to move forward with. You want to stop at nothing to get this victory with this person. Because you do see this person as your wish. Some of you guys want to, yeah, a Leo or Cancer. A Pisces. A Leo, another Leo. I see a um, Scorpio here. Hmm. And what is this person looking for in a lover? Mmm. Got the death card here. You want someone to mm, transformation? Go to some kind of transformation. Tell me more about this death card. Mmm. The person wants someone that they had an ending with. This is the one they want to start talking to. Mm, this is the one they want to move forward with this person. This is the one they want to start something long lasting with this person. This is the one that had fights and drama, some conflict. That's why they took a break. Mm. You want this person, they want this person to feel very remorseful. You want that person to fight for the relationship with them. Because they do, because they do see themselves as one um, very loyal and, um, and grounded. <laughs> so what they wanted, a lover... They want to start back talking to someone that they had the ending with. They want something long lasting. They want, they want their lover to come back and fight for the relationship with them. That's why they took a break. This is the one that took a break from you. They want their lover to feel very remorseful. Hmm. Spirit, what is the outcome of these other relationship? What is going to be the outcome? What is the outcome? The relationships, they're going to be on hold. Tell me more about this. Oh, okay. Someone that had your relationship on hold. This person coming in to sweep you off your feet. That person coming in and know what to say <laughs> and how to say it to you. Because this person going to see you as this missed opportunity. <laughs> the one that got away. This person want to take things to the next level. Hmm. This is the one that feeling betrayed. Hmm. Hmm. This is the one that feeling betrayed by someone they saw was a soulmate. This is the one that was still holding on to this person. This is what they were hiding. So you got somebody coming back that had your relationship on hold. This person coming back because they do see you you as a missed opportunity. And this person coming back want to take things to the next level with you. Hmm. And the person know what to say to you and how to say it and how to do it. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> If you need a person to read it for me, the information is down below in the description box. Some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Until next time, you guys. Bye-bye.